The one who holds the universe will never let you down. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by David McCaslin. C.S. Lewis and his older brother Warren endured several terms at Wynyard, an English boarding school for boys. The headmaster was a cruel man who made life unbearable for everyone there. Decades later, Warren wrote in his understated dry wit, I am now sixty-four and a bit, and have never yet been in a situation in which I have not had the consolation of reflecting that at any rate I was better off than I was at Wynyard. Most of us can recall a similar dark and difficult time in our lives and be grateful that we're better off now than we were then. Psalm 40 records a low point of David's life, when he cried out to the Lord who rescued him. God brought him up from the slimy pit, and the mud and the mire, and set his feet on a rock. He put a new song in my mouth, David says, a hymn of praise to our God. But deliverance from depression and despair are seldom one-time events. Psalm 40 continues with David's renewed plea for God's mercy loving kindness and truth to deliver him from his own sin and the threats of his enemies. Along with David, we can say at every low point, I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in Him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us. None can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, Here I am. I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, my God. Your law is within my heart. I proclaim your saving acts in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips, Lord, as you know. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and your saving help. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. Do not withhold your mercy from me, Lord. May your love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails within me. Be pleased to save me, Lord. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. May all who want to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, Aha! Aha! be appalled at their own shame. But may all who seek you Rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, The Lord is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer. You are my God. Do not delay. Today's scripture reading is Psalm 40. Let's pray together. Father God, please show us your mercy loving kindness and truth to deliver us from our sin. Like David, we are poor and needy and ask that you think of us as you are our help and our deliverer. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.